what is going on people it's profit gaming 77 and we're back with another episode of red dead redemption 2 this is part 23 and um man this is just like every time i play this game i feel like we're getting into more and more shootouts so i think we gotta um connect with dutch so that we can do another robbery and instead of packing up and finding a new location so we're getting a little reckless here so let's get right into it y'all all right here we go so i'm gonna grab my hat we're gonna meet with dutch dutch Look at this guy laid out man come on get up all right dutch wants to see me hey what's up g who's that still at man Oh, it's the morning. Never mind. He just said good morning. Ah, uh, this again. All right. What's up, a hole? Arthur, what? Come up here. Yeah, sure, Dutch. Sure, whatever you want, man. Whatever you want, Dutch. Why are these people just laying on the ground in the floor? Is he pregnant? Oh my God. He's sleeping and he's pregnant. Okay, get some sleep, Prego. Let's touch over there. Let me get my hat, man. And my gap, man. Respect the letter. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. Mm -hmm. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie's thinking about going back to college. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. Oh, God. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. But I'm not a man, though. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours Mary. Oh God. What do you want? Mary, what in the hell do you want? Why do you want to bother me? I'm not your husband. Alright, let's go see this punk. Name Dutch. Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? Mm -hmm. We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. You just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Hmm. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Hmm. Arthur, come on. 
You better be right about this one. I am. Yeah, you better be right. I've heard that before. And usually I've been right. Usually. Yeah, you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. First oh, come, God. first served here. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Hold on. Drop. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch mm. him off guard. Nice. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. Mm. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Go. Okay, follow me. Yeah, sure. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. Not really. He's Let's just trying to think of the Is it for the bank job? benefit of everybody else. For what happened in this safety. Boat. Nice. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. Mm. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. Mm. He just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks mm. he's out gunning for. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people mm -hmm. let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas mm -hmm. with all due respect Dutch is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out you tell me Arthur is it have some goddamn faith I am bending over backwards to make a future for us shut up I man. know but when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. Bro, this dude, man. He's always yeah. getting in the way, bro. Lucky phone, well, clap your man. ass, man. What was I talking about? Oh my god, bro. So this dude's this always getting in the way, bro. Like, like move out the way, out fam. Together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. Anyway, here we are. Let I want to get back at him for what he just did. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Mm. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. Hmm. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. Nice. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. <laughs> but my business partner Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur. All right, lead the Why way. Not? Bum. It shouldn't take too long. We can find it. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. <laughs> Come now, Arthur. It's going to take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, surely. Hmm. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a 
An agent predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Hmm. Arthur here is something of a comedian. Tom is more of a jester than a gunslinger. Hmm. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. Mm -hmm. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down hmm. here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Hmm. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. And you want me to follow you into that? You can know this crocodiles. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. All right. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? That's what I'm doing, man. No. Nothing. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mm. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? <laughs> oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. Mm. You too, Mr. Arthur. Yeah, I'm on. You can see why even swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? Mm. I love it out here. Peace. Nobody bothering you now. Mm -hmm. Except for the night folk sometimes. Mm -hmm. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Why do they are? <laughs> well, this just gets better and better. <laughs> this is getting crazy. I'm in deep sh isn't it? You know? But it's beautiful though. Look at that. It's amazing. Stop where you are. Okay. It's a gator. Let me shoot him. Stay as still as you can. Wow. Hmm. Are we done or are we finished? All right. Let's keep moving. I'm going to shoot one of them things. I that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. He did. We are all equally keen to find him. Well, I hear something. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Yeah, kill Dutch. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. No way. Oh. There goes your trap. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull. But people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's open Bant stick you for. first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. Right. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Crocodile Dundee over here. Dutch, get out the way, bro. Move. God, this dude always getting in the way. Like, move, man. Stay behind me. Let me shoot one. Why are you shooting at? Are you crazy? Yep. Oh my God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. I will shoot the mother hungers, man. Yes, 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 y'all. I I stay the back where I shoot you too. You understand me? We really should have run into jewels by now. Hmm. 
I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. What? Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Get the half out of the swamps, man. What are you coming this way for? Ain't no point in us all searching the same area. Well, am I supposed to go this way? Like. What the hell is that, man? Dude, this is crazy. This is wild, bro. And they want me to go over here? Oh, shucks. Please tell me those aren't gators, man. Oh, those are just fish. Where's old boy at, man? Jules! Jules. Jules. Oh, Senor Jules. Hey, someone there? No. Over this way. That must be him. See him. Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Mastiff, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I got the scale. It's over here. Stop. Uh oh. Jump. Good man. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please. Let's go. ASAP. Uh. Who's the monster? Thank God. So, uh. Who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll mm -hmm. explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. Mm. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? <laughs> this gator was huge, Thomas. 
Twice as big as I ever seen. Mm. Twice as angry too. Uh. Oh boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You right. didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. He said he's just gonna let him die. Shut up. I see it. Shut up, kid. But it should be like a fish or something. I got you, Sim. Got you, Sim. I got you. Oh, God. Yeah, they got his leg. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care. I got you. They had that poor boy go out in the ball, man. Can they paddle over at least? Oh wait, hold up. Damn, I'm about to pass out, bro. Trying. Put him here. Come on. Trying. Give me here. Come on. 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 to a shoot that thing I got him right in the face I think he's going shit that is one big old game oh your boy doesn't look too good there here take this try stop the bleeding yeah you're gonna be okay Damn. son you're gonna be okay just thank your old Uncle Dutch. Mm. Old Uncle Dutch. Dutch. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. Joe ass down. He passed out. I stopped the bleed. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. You're an infection. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Oh, shit. I got him. Oh, shit. Okay, I think it's had enough. Oh, yeah. Jeez, we get 
back now. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. We in swamp lands. You gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and mad. I'm no sweaty. Normally the little one's angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. <laughs> kind of reminds me of you, or You know, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. <laughs> and this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? <laughs> Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. Please. There's a monster out here. <laughs> he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? Hmm. Just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm going to head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <coughs> Mr. Arthur? <coughs> yes. Right there. Bad man. Kill yeah. some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. All right, G. You got monsters out here. Well. Wow. Okay. But the camp is torn down, huh? I would help my ex, but she's too much right now. Maybe next time. Sheesh, man. She's too much. Excuse me? Uh, I'm about to say, we'll have to get busy on that clown. Playing games with me, my friend. Me to help, I'll take you out of your misery. That's about it. <laughs> oh, wagons, weapons, yes. Hey, Bob. He's a good boy. Uh, good boy. I know. I know. Yes, yes. So, Dutch, what's the Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea. But I hear it's paradise. <laughs> That's what they said about the West. And look how that turned out. It's men. Like Mr. Bronte. Like Mr. Cornwall. It ruined the West. It ruined everything. So, there's no folk like that in Tahiti? There's folks like that everywhere. Mm -hmm. Tahiti, to my understanding, folks feed them for sharks rather than make them kings. Mm. I'm here. Arthur, there you are. Yeah. Come on. Yes. We all can fit in a boat. Thomas. Let's get going. Right, you Revenge are. of the dish best eaten. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna feed them to the the sharks or the crocodiles. Let's get it. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. 
I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine figure, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch them out there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. <laughs> what you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love you. Love you. Aside, <laughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. I'm ready for whatever you I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on. Oh, we're going to need something better than luck. Stay quiet. What if I don't want to stay quiet? What a bunch of bombs. Oh, a gun. You're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Easy work. Good luck, John. Arthur, let's go. Shut up, man. I'm trying to get a gun. Let's go. Where's that gun? It's right there. Got it. Alright, body. Got a lot of enemies, trust me. Just right fast. Block out. Gonna fuck with us. Got you, homie. Got him. This is not over yet. Body bag. these clowns mm -hmm. Arthur, come yes on. let me loot them stupid now it's gonna get a real personal let's get in there shut up man don't you see me working God's sake, let me. Look out. just get in there man Block out. Your man's is dead. Huh. Alright, let's get the shoddy out. Oh, I don't have a shoddy. Never mind. Move. He 
need that. Oh shit. Fuck that. Uh, loot everything and everyone. <laughs> That's a nice little. Yeah, Bronte, don't be a coward. See ya! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Where's my dead eye? Not even. You know? Say, where are you? I like money. Huh. Bronte, come out, play. Look at the glass, look at the glass. Damn, bro. Just shoot uh, this uh, nigga, man. Name, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Sure. You can kill him? Nah, yeah. Just take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Piece of shit, man. Okay, we're gonna pick him up. Bum. It's bum ass. Nigga. Jazz up, man. Fuck. Big Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. I know he got riches. There's a gun. Let me put him down real quick. Damn, there's a gun in there that I want. He's downstairs. And this gun, man. Can I drop him for the gun? Maybe next time. Like it or not. No, you're not. Fuck out. Thank you. Dutch move. Thank you. Got it. 
Damn, they got a gun in there I want. Put his punk ass on the bolt. That punk, man. Oh, come on, Lenny. Want me to go back in there and get him? Because I got a gun I want. Come on. Let's get out of here. We go. It's a kidnapping. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Because you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run Punch a him. city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. <laughs> what are you going to say now? Stupid idiot. They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be disposed of. Yo, throw him in the water, man. I'm gonna come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot. Get his ass in there, man. Call them now. Yeah, Call punk. Them. Call them now. Maggot. There you go. Revenge is a dish best served eaten. Take his ass. Out. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. Good goddamn alligator, Dutch. Well, the part that covers weakness. That part. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I do. Hmm. It ain't nice. I know it, but it is us or him. Mm. <clears throat> I figure it might as well be him. Mm -hmm. That's right, Dutch. I like your style, Dutch. I like your style, brother. He, he fed him to the fishes, man. He said, yo, he gone. He's out. Bastard. <laughs> what a bum. What an absolute bum, man. Trying my camp out like that, man. Don't ever try me like that, man. You lucky I didn't shoot his ass. Actually, no, he's not lucky. I mean, he got what he deserved, though. Dang, there was some guns I wanted, but uh, I couldn't grab it. it sucks. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. All right, Jim. Dutch? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's hmm. the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. If we linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. Let's we do it. To fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. That's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. Okay. We do it at night. There's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. Pick us off far easier. I know. I'm I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. I Every like problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even mm. Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. Be right out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. Mm-hmm. Nice. You got everything, Arthur. 
Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's banana get farmers. out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Uh, giddy up! Come on, uh, say you get moving! We ain't got all day! Hold we're robbing a bank today, boy! This is it, Ow! The last one! Where have we heard that before? The last hurrah. What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of... Watch out! Shut up, Megan. Oh, so you devoid want. of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind. Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from what the people doing? who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hunt. Shut up, man. For dollar operation, this is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> nice and easy through mm -hmm. town now, boys. One horse is the best, man. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Mm. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. His deed. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Hmm. And we get the F out. <laughs> I love that artist. <coughs> That's smart. This touch going. On. Hey, it's a freaking robbery, man. Don't fucking do it. Don't 
fucking do it. Come on, Dodge. Let's go. Who do you think you are? You know who I am. Gangster, cuz. Open the vaults before I smack you up, cuz. I don't want to have to do you in, dog. Hurry up! You understand? What does gap touch your face, mate? Open the damn vaults. Get your ass inside. Get your pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Let's make this quick. Got it. Jeez. What did I tell you? Oh, holy shit, they were a joking. Loot. It's not. Abigail. Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed. Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! For folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton! This is America. Mm. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Mm -hmm. Come on. Don't shoot him. Oh. He shot my mans. God damn it. Damn. Oh, my God. Yo, this bass is dead, man. I'm gonna murk this dude. God damn it. <laughs> ah! Yep. Yes.
game is L. <laughs> They're gonna light the charge. Cream, son. What's going on down there? We lost control of the bank. But the others are trying to hold them off. Okay. Damn, sucker. Yes, I do. Got him. He did. Yeah, Gatlin that, son. Big city. I'm clapping these fools, man. Arthur. Yes. We lost John. Killed? Arrested? I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? Damn. I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roofs. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Damn, this is wild, bro. That's why I call it the Wild Wild West. Oh. Sucks. That sucks, man. Can I loot him? Uh, where am I going? Oh, I'm itching. All right, where do we go? Sucks, man. All my people dying on you, man. He didn't even look. He just kind of just did his thing. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Arthur's one of the best to ever do it. Watch your back, man. I don't believe it. They knew we were coming. 
Just like your fairy job in Blackwall. Ain't nothing like that. Hmm. Interesting. <coughs> they knew we were coming. What now? I don't know. I don't. <sighs> Somebody ratted us out. Filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours. We go back to camp. They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. Damn. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah. Well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. Hmm. I'm guessing it's that. Or we die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Hmm. Okay. And it's raining out. Okay. Follow me. All right. Keep your heads down. Gotcha. Uh, I got a shotgun too. Hurry up, Dutch. The fuck? Bro, what? Uh, someone's coming. Duck. Hey! I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? I should shoot him in the face, but you know, that would be mean, right? All right. Come on. Right, where we go next? I see a horse. Damn, this is so good. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. My horse? Like, why is my horse following me? Oh, I know what to do. Jenkins, is that you?
Keep the horse, homie. Hmm. That's how you do it. Okay. That was close. See you there. Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! Yeah. Is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Yeah. Come on. Can I go? He waxing all of them. We did it. That is crazy, yo. Yo, that's nuts. <laughs> oh, man, that's nuts. What now? Well, at least we got some gold. Hmm. Sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. Hmm. I don't know. John. Lenny. Jose. That wasn't good. Yep. I know. What are we going to do now? <coughs> Guess I'm going to introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's going to take a little more gold, but I think we're going to be okay. This captain, nice. he is a, a fine fella, a New Englander from the Cape. New Englander the rest of the from ship the Cape. I live near They're the Cape, guys. To the islands, taking cool. some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're going to be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. Cuba? That's so. Apparently. Like, we're in Cuba now? That's nuts. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up right. for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, hmm. you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? <laughs> wow. Storm. Storm's afoot. Okay. Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Arthur! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! You come on! What? Would you get a move on you? This is crazy! Please, Lord, help me right behind you! What in the world? Yo, Rockstar Games, man. Seasick or something. Oh, the boat's on fire. Okay. 
okay. Just jump, man. Jump out there. That's crazy. Watch him be washed ashore. It always happens. <laughs> That's insane. He's gonna get washed ashore, I'm telling you. You know, washed on that shore, man. They gonna find him. How do I know? Let's see. Look at this. You can't really go in any other direction. That's wild. It's a long sequence. What the heck is that? Is that a gecko? serious eyes of bloodshot can't believe my dude ended up in Cuba bro what Guarma chapter 5 y'all that's nuts. Wow. Mm. What in the world? <laughs> I literally have no horse, no boat. It's insane. But yeah, man. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of uh, Red Dead. <laughs> wow. This game is something else, man. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, man, if you're new to the channel. And we'll be back with another episode, so y'all stay tuned for that. Alright? Peace.